Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Here we are. It is the FabFitFun Fall 2021 add-on sale. This is my product review video, tips and tricks and product review video. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I record my computer screen and I talk about the things that I do to try to figure out what I want to get from an add-on sale or an edit sale. I do it for every sale. I do this video for every sale. If you have any input, please feel free to share. That is the main reason why I do them because I love just talking about what's available in the sales. I don't claim to be an expert so if you have anything to add or even correct or whatever that from what I say please share in the comments below I am um, freshly skin cared so forgive the lack of makeup or looking put together anyway what I like to do is I like to record my computer screen so we're going to jump into doing that right now is the sale page. I am going to first show you a couple of things that I like to do to help me narrow down my cart. One thing I like to do is I like to check ingredients and to do that I go to skincharisma.com and I have shown this in many of my videos. I'm going to try to do a speedier version. Uh, so if you go out oh, and I will link all of the websites in the description box below that I mentioned. So you go to skincharisma.com and then if you click here cosmetic analyzer and then it'll come up with this little text box where you can copy and paste the ingredients from any product that you want to take a look at. Let's just do this one. Let's see, I've never done a tanning product before, so I'm curious how many ingredients would be flagged for a tanning product. So you copy the ingredients list and you go back over here and you paste them into this text box and then you hit analyze product. And the cool thing about this website is you can create a login for yourself where you can flag different ingredients and kind of learn more and customize your own profile. Uh, so the first thing it does is it kind of gives you a little synopsis and it uh, checks off some of the great things like paraben free, sulfate free, alcohol free, but then it has some quick little uh, 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 alerts, I guess you could say. EU allergen free. It is not EU allergen free. It is not good for fungal acne necessarily. And then if you scroll down a little bit more. Oh, interesting. This isn't analyzing the products. This, the Oh, well, maybe something went wrong there with the site. Here we go. Okay, back on board. So it gives you a little synopsis at first, and then if you scroll down, it gives you ratings per ingredient now, and then on this side, it'll say what it is good or bad for, what that particular ingredient is good or bad for. These, it shows two ratings. One is the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, and the other is the Cosmetic Ingredient Review. I personally much prefer the Cosmetic Ingredient Review. If you go to their site and you search uh, an ingredient, you can actually get peer-reviewed articles from um, scientists that uh, on those particular ingredients so you can find some more evidence-based uh, information. So here is their main website and then if you go to ingredients you can type in an ingredient name here. You can see I've used it before. This is DMDM Hydantoin. That's a formaldehyde releaser. So if you were to select that or enter that and hit search, the great thing about it is it will come up with, like I said, peer-reviewed journal articles that you can then read and feel confident that what you're reading is actually legit. This is from the American College of Toxicology on for formaldehyde releasers, basically. So I really like the cosmetic ingredient review. The EWG doesn't have the best reputation for providing the most accurate information. So I recommend looking into different ingredients if you want to see more than just the ratings listed here. I recommend going to the cosmetic ingredient review website for that. So that's one thing I do. Another thing that I do is I check to see if something is cruelty free. My favorite reference guide is cruelty-free-kitty.com. There are many reference guides out there. You can explore and see which one works best for you. Cruelty Free Kitty is quite strict so I like it because they're also very very thorough in their review and their research on different brands 
So they also have a list of approved brands, and if you wanted to search a specific brand, you can go to this uh, magnifying glass on their home page, and they have this search box right here, and let's just pick a brand from the, uh, it doesn't have every brand, but most big brands. So here's Dr. Brandt. Let's put in Dr. Brandt, and if it pops up, that means they're in their database. So. I already knew this, Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, so I don't purchase their products, but you definitely can make your own decision here. Use this if you want to, well, it's up to you. Uh, and then the there are there's more details on it, but you can get yourself started learning. But when you look up a brand, you can read the little synopsis here, and then down lower, there are more questions and answers about the particular brand. For instance, right here is Dr. Brandt owned by a parent company that, is test, that tests on animals. They are not, uh, but they're still not cruelty-free. They aren't certified because they're not cruelty-free. They're not, uh, they may offer some vegan products. So there's a difference between vegan and cruelty-free. So vegan doesn't use animal products in their, uh, in their actual formulations, but uh, cruelty-free means they're not tested on animals. So there's a difference there. So Dr. Brandt might offer some vegan products, however, because this company is not cruelty-free, we recommend avoiding any products they offer, even if they are vegan. So there's a difference with, between vegan and cruelty-free. So there's this is a whole world, a whole video, many videos could be done about this, but uh, this is a way to get you yourself started if you're interested in exploring that. Um, something else I like to do is I like to go to the FabFitFun forum. So this is a thread I haven't read any of. I am hurrying up to make this video because I need to pack because we are going to Hawaii and I can't wait. So I am, um, I have not been able to do as much community research on the products available. So I'm just going to talk about what I know already. I mean, a lot of the products are things that I've already seen. I've been a member for a long time. So I do have a lot of feedback on what's available. But if you wanted to, and I highly suggest you do, you can go to, I'll show you how to get to that page. You can go to the FabFitFun site, and then to get to the forum, you hover over community, and then you click forum. And then there are multiple threads on this right side that you can read, and it's a lot of fun to get involved. I used to more often, but I haven't so much lately. Um, so you can see there's this thread that somebody started fall add on carts where people share what's in their carts and then they talk about the different products and you can get a lot of feedback on different products there. This one I had pulled up is a fall 2021 add on reviews uh, thread that somebody started. So uh, you can get feedback there. You can start your own thread. It's really, really pretty great. So and a lot of really fun conversations and um, friendships can happen if you uh, log in and talk to people there. Uh, anyway, so that's something else I like to do. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the sale. Here's my cart. Let's start with my cart. It is very, very small and empty. Um, it is $18 <laughs> uh, and I have decided that I am going to donate $3 every sale that I purchase anything to the charity that they are promoting and so I'm doing that and then this in case you looked it over this is the Marrakesh styling cream that I have raved about so much I almost missed it because it used to be in a pump bottle but I I didn't miss it I'm so happy so they just repackaged it which I'm also really happy that they repackaged it because the pump bottle it used to be really annoying it would once the once the pump stopped working, there was still like probably an eighth of the bottle was still, it still had product in it. There was still quite a bit of product. So I would have to unscrew and do the thing where you kind of like pound the bottle on the palm of your hand. And I'm just really excited to see that they repackaged it. It'll be so much easier to get the product out. This is one of the best styling creams I have ever used in my hair, if not the best. And I always recommend styling creams for curly hair. I have curly hair in case you're new to my channel and I really really like this you have to like 
musky scents if you're going to use this. It has a very strong, very nice musky scent to it, kind of like a really, I think I've described it like a really expensive incense or something like that. Very, very nice, but you have to like musky scents. And the other thing about them is they're made in the USA. I think they, I think this is a vegan cruelty-free brand, so both vegan and cruelty-free. It doesn't say here, but I'm pretty sure I just read on um, another product of theirs actually that I just used in my hair that I wanted to try. Uh, not this one. I haven't tried it before. That they are vegan and cruelty-free. So love this brand. Natural ingredients. Great brand great product, good stuff. I am maxing out on it. It's so good. Um, okay. So this is my cart. Very, very modest and we'll see if it grows. I don't think it's going to grow. I'm not very excited about the stuff in this sale, which is fine. It's totally fine. I have so much, so much backed up. So this is the main sale. Let's get into talking about the products that are available and I'll do my best to share what I know. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have a pet peeve with the Unhide Blankets. This is a company that I think Ellen DeGeneres helped, helped uh, found it, founded it, or she has some involvement with it, but I don't know to what extent. Um, it's a very, very soft blanket. It's supposed to feel like chinchilla fur, and chinchilla fur, if you've ever pet a chinchilla, it's amazing. They're so soft. I was tempted to buy one, but they're a lot of work, so look into it before you want to buy a chinchilla. Um, anyway, so this blanket, what bothers me is that it's like two pieces of rectangle, rectangular fabric sewn together only at the edges, so it slides around and loses its rectangularness really really easy easily and it just becomes I don't know it really bothers me I don't know if I'd explain that very well at all but I, I hope that comes across so other than that it's a nice blanket but it, that really bothers me it bothers me so much so anyway this is a small one so that's 50 by 60 so that's um, just over four feet by five feet uh, long and then if you're going to get it, I would say try to grab the uh, medium size, which is five feet by, what is this, uh, seven and a half feet or so, um, a little more than. So I would recommend trying for the bigger one because um, the, uh, the small one is a little on the small side. Uh, okay, let's see. Sponge gels. People really, really like them. I'm not a fan. I do what I've read about them, though. I've never actually used one. I'm not a fan just because I'm just not a fan of this kind of thing or loofahs or things like that. But um, what I've read about them is that they are can be a little rough at first. Some people like to use them on their feet until they soften up and then they use them on their bodies. This ha They have a big following. If you want to try them and you're trying to decide what fragrance you're going to get, I would highly recommend that you um, go on the forum and maybe even start a thread, a spongel thread and ask, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, ask what people think of different fragrances and you could pick one that way. Invisible bubbles are fine. Um, I like them better than the elastic hair ties because it's true, they do not leave a crease in your hair. If you haven't tried them, that's why they became so popular. They don't leave creases in your hair when you put your hair in a ponytail and then you take it down. Um, there's no mark at all, hence the name Invisible Bobble. I really do um, like them better than the hair elastics. I have gotten into the um, scrunchies lately, the, the small satiny scrunchies and I like those the best right now. Um, I mentioned Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free so I've never purchased anything from them but I do know that um, they uh, get their products get good reviews. Okay I mentioned these in my last video I recently decided that I don't need any I don't need to purchase any other uh, physical exfoliator for my body ever again. These do the trick. These are amazing. You can put any kind of body wash you want into them and foam it up and use these gloves to exfoliate your entire body. And they do a great job. I really, really like them. I'm on my second pair and I, I recommend, I recommend giving these a try. Okay, 
this stuff I like living proof I don't like everything by them but I have liked several of their products that I have tried this is one of those products you put in your hair and then you sleep on it or you let it settle in for a while and then you can either style your hair or wash it and then style it I don't get it I don't feel like it does anything maybe I need to use it and then over time it does something I don't get it I know it doesn't do anything for me it has the signature living proof scent which I love um, but if you're somebody who's into those kinds of products let me know what you think about those I'm a big fan of the London town nail polishes they don't last a crazy long time but I've been realizing I should probably spend a little more time on my nail routine when I do paint my nails you know actually every time go in, remove the cuticles, remove the oils, and buff out my nails a little bit, and then paint my nails, and then give it a chance and see how long these last. Without doing that, these last about five five to seven days on my nails, which is pretty good. Um, unless I don't wear dish gloves, then they only last like three days, but that is no one's fault but my own. Um, they, they are 18 free, I think. So they're one of those nail brands that don't use um, a lot of the toxic chemicals that are known to be in nail polishes. So I do like them. Um, green goo, these little tins, people would go nuts over them when I first joined and I don't see the same kind of following. I bought a dry skin one and it does not get any love from me. I've had it for like two years. I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere. Um, I have a blanket statement I say about jewelry, not to say that you shouldn't buy it. This is actually a really great price for um, cubic zirconia studs that are made of brass, nine bucks. That's not a bad price at all. The retail price is what I find kind of offensive, but the uh, sale price is super decent. You could probably find uh, the same type of thing on Amazon if you wanted to try them out so that you could um, return them if you don't like them. And I have this feeling about all jewelry in FabFitFun sales. Double check the materials, make sure that the price is decent for, not for the, the sale price is decent. Like I don't find the sale price to be a bargain on a lot of the jewelry. I think it's what it should be for what these things are made of. And then double check Amazon to see if they don't have something comparable where you could buy it, try it, and return it if you don't like it because obviously, well, I don't know if it's not obvious, but there are no returns with that bit of fun. So that's my recommendation with the jewelry. That said, I have purchased jewelry. If you want a pair of cubic zirconia studs, this looks like a great opportunity. They look like they could be really nice. So if I was looking for that, I would totally grab these. Um... I haven't tried this from Tristique, but I have tried an eye essential set that was surprisingly great. So if you're eyeing this, this could be kind of nice. That could be, that could be kind of nice actually. <laughs> I'm now I'm kind of eyeing it. Now I am eyeing it. That's really pretty. And then there's this brown one. Ooh. I don't need it. I do not need it. Okay. And then gadgets. I have a blanket statement about gadgets. Another thing that you might as well just double check Amazon, see if this is actually a bargain that you're getting through the FabFitFun sale. A lot of times when I double check Amazon, there's something there that ju looks just as good for a few bucks cheaper and I have the ability to return it. So that's, yeah, gadgets, jewelry, definitely double check Amazon. I swear I will never, I, I've sworn it so many times, I will never buy a mystery bundle again, but that's probably not true. I have never gotten a good one. I've gotten like four so far. I've never gotten a good one. I've gotten like maybe a product in a couple of them that was okay, that was great, and I was either usable or giftable. But um, I have a friend who seems to have good luck with them, and um, I see her do that, and then I want to get it, and then it never hasn't worked out for me so far. But they're fun. They are fun. 
Okay, I said what I said about Dr. Brandt. Um, the poopery people say that this really does work. You spray it in the toilet before you poop in the toilet, and it's supposed to do wonders for the um, <laughs> smell. People really like these ben Benko got boxes. Um, they're like Tupperware. I I don't know. I've eyed it before. But again, maybe you could find something. That's a good price, though. Maybe you could find something on Amazon that was comparable and returnable. Levito in general is a brand I, I find um, country of origin, Italy. That is not true. Sometimes these description boxes or de description descriptions are not, not true. It's not accurate. <laughs> this is not true. This is from Israel. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can see it's even, there's even Hebrew writing on it, but it's a cruelty-free brand from Israel. And I have used a couple of their things and I did like them. Not that one though. I, I did, I was intrigued by this, but I have hand cream. Kitsch is a brand that I like their scrunchies a lot from, and I had this in my cart, but then I looked it up and there aren't this, this set is on Amazon and the Amazon reviews aren't the greatest about it. Um, and it's only a dollar off, but the Amazon reviews, um, there are a lot of pictures of them having broken either, uh, been broken upon arrival or broken quickly after uh, receiving them. So I, I'm, I dumped it from my cart. I had it in my cart uh, before. Sorry, I'm pregnant. I'm very pregnant and I'm having trouble getting comfortable. Okay. Now, I have used this uh, shampoo and conditioner set, and although it was nice, it was nothing to write home about. Um, I do like the scent. It had a very, like, take me to Hawaii kind of coconutty scent that just made you really feel like you were um, going on vacation. So I did enjoy the scent. It wasn't very strong, so that was great too. But the way it performed as a shampoo and conditioner, um, it was fine. It was fine. It's a good price, actually, 14 bucks. So that's drugstore prices right there. This is an intimacy oil, and I did try it once, and it has rave reviews. And for me, it made my lady parts feel warm and tingly. So I can see how it helps. <laughs> I mean, it didn't, like, it wasn't as mind blowing as some people say, but it did make it warm and tingly. <laughs> Um, I just, I, I think I just blushed. Um, okay. I haven't used anything from this brand. They're a, they were founded by a couple on the East Coast, I think, a few years back. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on them. Grown Alchemist. Have I used this? I have used this. And I didn't love it. I uh, found it to be... I wanted it to be less drying. I have dry skin and I didn't love the fragrance either. I thought that I might end up really, really liking it, but I found the floral and the citrus kind of clashed uh, for me. But a lot of people do really like this uh, gel cleanser. It was a little bit too drying for me and I have like desert dry skin. So um, take that for what you will. This is, I bought this to see what the rave was, brave, what all the hype was. It is, it is hype. People love this dental floss. It's $5. Um, I thought maybe it would be so amazing that it would get me to start remembering to floss regularly. I'm terrible. Um, it's kind of thick. So if you have really tightly packed teeth, you might like, not like that. And it was founded by, um, a dentist and her sister who wanted to like, put a fun edge on flossing to hopefully to get people to floss, which I, to I totally wanted to get on board with. Um, I don't know that this is made in Italy either, but maybe, uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, um, I wouldn't get it again. I think it's just as good as the stuff you get from the dentist when you go. Um, more daily concept stuff like that's the same brand as those gloves and they do make some good um 
shower scrubber and things like that. I don't know about lip scrubbers, but okay. Yeah. And if I, I think I said, if I don't know anything, I'm just going to scroll past. Oh, clothes people. Okay. People seem to go for the clothes in the sales, which is surprising to me. Awesome. But surprising to me, I don't because it's another thing where, well, I have a body type too, where not everything's going to look great on me. Slam, slam dunk. Amazing. So I can't, I can't just buy something where I'm not going to be able to return it or try it on before I commit. So I need to go, you know, I want to go in and try stuff on at TJ Maxx or Ross or whatever. But people, despite that, I've seen a lot of comments that people are having really, really good experiences with the Fabfit Fun clothes. And they often are in the sold out category um, very quickly. They have a lot of free people stuff too, which is a very popular brand. This is a Canadian brand that's supposed to be non-toxic and um, I'm sure it's cruelty free, but there's they, they are more focused on using ingredients that are aren't harm, harmful okay oh bathorium is this a bath soak i bought some after seeing so many people rave about their stuff and i used it and i didn't even feel like there was anything in the tub with me it didn't maybe i needed to use a boatload more maybe i didn't put nearly enough I don't know. I should try it again before I say too much, but people do say really good things about the Pythorium stuff, but I didn't, I didn't, I, it fell flat for me. <laughs> Terra Mare is a really, really lovely, um, organic, vegan, cruelty-free skincare line. I haven't used anything from them in a while. I'd used like four of their products and I liked two and I didn't like two. Um, and then I stopped springing for them because they were a little pricier, but I love retinol. I can't wait to try to get, be able to use retinol. I have been pregnant or breastfeeding for forever. It feels like, um, but once my, once this baby that I'm going to give birth to stops breastfeeding, I am so getting retinol again. Okay. Coach. This seems like a lot of diffusion jewelry from coach. The material is brass. Um, but if you want an opportunity to buy something from coach and sport it and, and look fancy, now's your chance. Kate Somerville is cruelty free, but they're owned by, um, I kept saying Estee Lauder, but I want to say that's not true. I want to say I found out that that was incorrect, but we could check cruelty free kitty. They're owned by a company that's not cruelty free. So I try not to buy from brands that are owned by companies that aren't cruelty free. I sometimes cave though. There are a lot of accessories in this sale and I don't get accessories from FabFitFun. I just don't. I have seen mostly horrible things said about this. The wax kit, this um, is you put it in this little silicone thing and then you put it in the microwave to melt the wax. Um, but I've seen horrible reviews. But then I did see some people come out and say you just have to get used to using it and know what you're doing. <laughs> so maybe the horrible reviews were from people who were just trying it out and didn't really know what they were doing. I don't know. Um, but mostly I saw bad reviews about it. Um, this Skin & Co. Truffle line, the whole line seems to have really good reviews. You can find most of their products on Ulta. I purchased this because I needed a backup for my oil cleanser and I still haven't gotten to it um, because I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup in uh, quarantine. Anyway, so I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to try it when I do get around to it.
Oh, okay. So I've tried this Grown Alchemist body cream and many people love it. I love it as a body cream. I don't love the scent. It smells like creamsicle and I'm not a fan of creamsicle scented uh, beauty products I've learned. Oh, the We Are Paradox. I used, not this one, but I used a shampoo and conditioner of theirs, and I did like it. I really enjoyed it. It smelled amazing. It smelled like a really expensive massage parlor, botanical, like, really nice. It smelled really nice. They're an Irish brand made in the United Kingdom, and um, they're all about trying to minimize the use of plastic. So you can see that these are aluminum. The pump is plastic, but it is really nice to see a company doing that. I, I don't know why more companies aren't doing that. It's mind boggling. I had these in my cart. These look, these look lovely. Just cubic zirconia, uh, teardrop or not teardrop, but drop earrings. Uh, I deleted them because I thought, well, I can find these somewhere else or something similar. Um, Luxy brushes are nice brushes. Uh, you may have heard that already. It's true what they say. So if you want a good eye set, that, that, that would be good. I have a Wish lip scrub that I've had since I first joined FabFitFun. It's going strong. It hasn't gone bad, and I really, really like it. This is a nice little duo, I would say, if you want a lip scrub and a lip balm to go together and you like pumpkin, then this would be this would be good. This would be really good. I love a lip scrub and a lip oil or a lip moisturizing lip product afterward and then it works wonders and it makes your lipsticks just go on so much more smoothly so that looks like a really good little set okay oh i think i got was it the same brand? I got one of these. I got the round one and it's nice. It is a little bit bulkier than I thought it was going to be. I feel like, let's see, I feel like this might be photoshopped because that doesn't seem accurate. It's six inches by six inches by three inches deep. Anyway, I do remember thinking it was just a little bit bulkier than I wanted it to be. And honestly, I haven't taken it anywhere or used it like I thought I would because it's bulky. Um, so, and I didn't pay this much for it either. But anyway, that's what my experience was. It looked really great, but yeah, I didn't end up using it. Or haven't yet. These are wonderful, not these specific things, but I love using brushes or silicone applicators for putting on face masks. I don't like when I dig into a tub of a face mask and it gets under my nails or whatever and I also you don't want to even though I do it all the time it's better not to put your fingers into your tub of product because you know your fingers aren't always the cleanest um, and it also feels really really nice to use a brush to apply face masks so super into these this is definitely something that you can find on amazon and you know we don't really need five so you can get like a two pack on amazon for i think like three or four bucks really really cheap that's what i did Ooh. i really am curious about the jouet brand um, they're available at Sephora. I've used one thing from them that I loved and I haven't seen in a sale since, but one of these days, maybe I'll try some more of their makeup. Um... 
there are just so many accessories in this sale that I, and I haven't purchased a lot of accessories from FabFitFun. The mind tan stuff gets a lot of really um, good comments and good reviews. I don't do self tanner. I feel like I would be a big <laughs> failure at it and it's just not something that I feel like spending time on. The Paracone brand, I read some really, um, really harsh criticism about the brand in general a couple sales ago, just about how Paracone MD doesn't really know what he's talking about as far as skincare is concerned, that uh, the brand is overpriced crap, basically. But then I see some people saying that they really, really like the stuff from Paracone. So um, I just found that really, really interesting. There's some really like slanderous stuff out there, though, about, about his uh, line of products. This Boar line, I use their shampoo and conditioner. I didn't like it very much. Um, it was fine, but they are available on Ulta. And this is, I think, like their signature product. So this could be good. I I was kind of soured because I just didn't really enjoy using their shampoo and conditioner. So I am turned off from the brand. But they have good reviews on Ulta. I mean, I could be an I could be an outlier. <clears throat> I highly recommend blue light blockers. Just in general, you can get like a two pack on Amazon for um, a fairly uh, good price, but um, just in general, they're really good for eye strain. I have found them to be very, very helpful. So many gadgets and things. Uh, Also, hair tools. This is another thing where I say if you can't find good solid reviews on a hair tool you're eyeing, I would say just go somewhere else and try to get a hair tool if you really, really want to invest in one. Um, you know, Ulta, you can wait for a sale, you can return it if you don't like it. Same with Amazon. I got my hair, uh, my blow dryer at Costco. It was like 200 dollar blow dryer and it was like $75. Um, so yeah, that's another thing where I just, I've seen so many people get into such, uh, so much of a struggle when they get something that's faulty or that they're not happy with, and then they're just stuck with it from FabFitFun. Um, so there are a few things where I just recommend trying elsewhere. Oh, this is cute. A pink pan. At first I was like, why is there a pan with a nail thing? Why are, Why did they bundle that? And then it's girls night bundle. It was super cute. Okay. Um, I don't know much about the Dr. Brand uh, brand brand. As I said, I don't buy from them, but this I remember was a really well-loved product when I first joined and I believe you can get it in refills as well now. Or you could, I don't know if you still can. Oh, Jenny Bird, this is the, this is the brand of the bracelet that's in the box. That's right. LSTN, listen, this brand donates money to um, provide hearing aids, I think, to people who in need of them. In... So many accessories and gadgets. 
Oh, I did buy this. Um, and it seems like it's good quality. I haven't had occasion to wear it. Um, but I had, was eyeing something just like this and I had some of these in my cart on, in Amazon and, uh, they were, I think it was $11 when I purchased it, but it, um, so it was a few dollars cheaper than the ones on Amazon and I went with the one from FabFitFun and it seems decent. Haven't worn it though, like I said. Lots of gadgets, lots of jewelry. Yeah, so I don't have as much input. I tend to get a lot of beauty products. Um, Graydon Skincare, this is a Canadian brand founded by a chef, I think. <laughs> I think she's a vegan chef and she uh, made her own skincare line and people are really, really liking the stuff. I have a cleanser that is fine. I don't love it. Um, this looks like a good deal. How big is this? Oh, super small purse. Okay. Um, I like the AG hair line. I like their styling products. I don't like their shampoos and conditioners. Oh, this was a choice in a box recently. Did you pick it? Did you use it? Did you like it? I'm curious. Here is a LED compact mirror. I wonder if this one's less bulky. No, it's similar. No, it's a lot. It looks a lot slimmer. I would pick that one then over the other one. This purse was a, an option in a box. I think maybe the last summer box. Um, not the one that just passed, but the one before it. And I ended up giving it to my mother-in-law as a birthday present. And she seems to like it. She's the type of person to remember to use a gift in front of the person who gave it to her. So I don't ever really know if she likes something. Um... So I purchased this for some people when it was full spectrum CBD and that they, the people I got it for did like it. They did say it was helpful. Now it says hemp relief. So I'm not sure if the formula changed, but back when it was CBD, I'm sure that that must've changed. I don't know. I don't know much about that, but uh, anyway, back when it was CBD, um, the people that I purchased it for said that it really, really did help. One person used it on their knee for knee pain. <laughs> uh, oh, is this for the body skincare and this for more than just your face? Wait, these are hilarious. I finally got the PMD clean in the, um, summer box. And honestly, it is like a toy, like an intimate toy. And you can, somebody, oh, hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. She said that she, um, <laughs> was... Oh, what was it on the Facebook group or something? People were talking about how it's a twofer because you could totally use it as um, an intimate toy. It, I couldn't take it seriously, actually. I tried to use it, and it felt like a vibrator on my face. <laughs> I just, I, I couldn't do it. It was, it, I don't know what I'm going to do with mine, to be honest. Um, but anyway, it's kind of funny that now this one's for your entire body. 
So um, use it all over. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, but it was hilarious. I did not expect it to just feel like a vibrator. I'm not very, very into using tools uh, with my cleansers uh, also to begin with, so. Oh, I was curious about this brand and I looked them up. They're founded by a plastic surgeon who uses all natural ingredients that are supposed to be highly efficacious or um, highly effective. And um, although, you know, it's a newer female founded company, which a lot of these brands are newer female founded companies, and there aren't a lot of reviews about them because of that, because FabFitFun is just trying to support those kinds of brands, which is awesome. Um, I am kind of intrigued by this line and I love Jasmine. I love Jasmine. So Jasmine Absolute is one of the first ingredients in this uh, oil serum. I don't need an oil serum, so I'm not going to get it and 34 bucks. But um, I'm curious about that brand. We'll probably see more from them. And it's also cruelty free. The type A deodorant does work. Um, in this pregnancy, I have found I've become allergic to natural deodorants, though. I started to get itchy, like, itchy, burny bumps on my armpits. And I was like, what the heck is happening? I remember reading on this brand site, the new co, I think they make the vitamins that have been available. And I really liked what they said on their website, which was, you know, of course, always, always, always try to get your nutrition through your food. But if it's not working and you need supplements, then look to us for what your for your needs. But I really liked that they promoted that first. It was really nice to see. This robe is so cute. It is right up my alley. I have to like it, so I'm not going to get it. Oh, and it's $64. You can get robes like that on Amazon for So many gadgets and whatnot. I don't know. I've probably said that like 10 times already. Oh, that's a cute bundle. It's an expensive bundle, but that's cute. Wow. So many accessories. Okay. I don't have much to say about any of this stuff, but I'm just scrolling past. Um, I mentioned I'm not a big fan of using face scrubbers and face tools with cleansers. I gotta say I do I am one of those people who who feels that this is too much to use on your um, face on a daily basis it is too abrasive it attacks the skin barrier and it's also very important that uh, you need to keep these bristles clean if you're gonna be using it on your face and scrubbing and scrubbing like that every single day I mean you got to sanitize those bristles every single day I'm not a big fan of these for your face. I don't think that they're a good idea. 
But if they have attachments like this, like this looks like a pumice stone, that, that attachment for your feet is going to be amazing. I was sent one for free, not that one, but a similar one to review on my uh, channel. And that was basically what my review was <laughs> in a nutshell. Oh, here's an antimicrobial one. I don't know how it is because it still has those bristles. Very floral. Yeah, I'm. I just can't get behind these. Sorry if you have them and you like it. I know a lot of people really loved the Clarisonic when it came out. This is kind of cute, kind of retro. Hmm. Gosh, yeah, I have, if you've ever gotten like a carp or rug, what do you think? How'd it go? I have nothing to say about a lot of this because it's there's just so few beauty products. Not so few, but oh, here's a kitsch clock clip. I missed that one. Anyway, I like kitsch. Their stuff's on Ulta also. Like I said, those other ones, though, had bad reviews on Amazon that they broke easily. I've used this. This was in a box. This is the Terra Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. It kind of falls flat for me. Toner is one of those things where unless it has something like an exceptional ingredient in it or it's like an AHA toner, BHA toner, I just don't, I feel like it's kind of a useless step. Like this is just like a little bit of aloe and then some preservatives and tea tree oil. Yeah, I, um, this, this, it feels like it's pointless in the skincare routine, I think. This here is a good price for some organization bins. I bought a set a sale or two ago. I have to put them to use, but they're fine. They're kind of this weird canvassy, like really stiff canvassy kind of material. Um, and I'll definitely be able to use them. <laughs> I usually have so much more to say. There's a lot of the stuff in the sale that I just wouldn't buy. And usually when I make my video, I end up adding a couple more things to my cart because there's something I missed or something. Uh, this blemish bar, uh, people will say really good things about it. If you have acne prone skin, um, you can go ahead and try to favorite it and um, see if you can snag one. Uh, the people who have used it say that it does work wonders. And that's a trick actually, if you don't know, you can hit this little heart on something that you're interested in. And then when you um, want to see if it's avail become available, you can go to my favorites and you'll see that um, you'll see if it's available much more quickly than if you wanted to, than if you had to scroll and scroll and scroll for, through the sale, you're basically just never going to get it that way. You should favorite it and then you can go to your favorites and try to snag it that way. I 
I don't really like R and Co brand. I find they're very uh, bold and adventurous with their fragrances, and I use their moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and it was not at all moisturizing. It it didn't do anything for me, so I had a bad experience with their shampoo and conditioner. I did not like it. Okay, this is the Grown, Ac Grown Alchemist Brightening Serum, and I have used this. It did nothing for me, but no brightening serums ever have, so I don't know if I'm a tough customer when it comes to brightening products, but it didn't do anything for me. I bought not this bag, but a different style um, of this bag from this brand and it's leather and I use it and I like it a lot. I think it was a good purchase for a good practical crossbody leather black everyday handbag. So if you're eyeing it and that's what you want and you're in need of that, I don't regret my purchase. I think I paid like 44 or 49 for the one that I got as well. Um, so I do like it. Actually, this one looks a little bit bigger and I'm kind of like, oh, I wouldn't have minded having one a little bit bigger, but it's, it's very, very similar in size. Actually, I can fit like a book in it and my wallet and my phone and my keys and, and then even have a little room to spare. Uh, so it's, a, it's a good size purse. It's a perfect size purse actually. Some boho chic home goods this is um, from that same brand that I said I was a little curious about founded by the plastic surgeon this is made for oily to normal skin types so just to point that out at first I was intrigued by it because of cleansing milk and usually cleansing milks are uh, for drier skins as uh, skins <laughs> drier skin types but um, if you read it it's for normal to oily because it's using oatmeal which is very absorbent so it acts as an oil absorption um, ingredient so just to point that out in case you put it in your cart thinking oh cleansing milk that would be for dry skin and not this one Yeah, I don't have much to say about these things, but if you're one of those people with these things in your cart, then like I said, just double check Amazon. This is a really, really great retinol um, serum. It was the first retinol, I, maybe the one and only retinol I've ever used, and I really enjoyed it. it smells like Lemon Pledge, so if you're averse to that, then uh, you might not want to use it, but I don't like that scent, but it was worth it. It was a really good um, especially as a first time user of retinol, it was really, really good to use. Always follow instructions when you're using retinol. Follow instructions, maybe find a good skincare video to watch about how to use retinol so that you make sure that you're not actually causing damage to your skin. And that is it. That is it. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Let me know what you're getting. What's in your cart? What are you excited for? Um, I would love to hear and, and have a conversation about it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Bye.